I don't I don't think they've added a way yet to pick your color. But sometimes the colors are less than vivid. <clears throat> but it is Jangby. And in the bottom right, apparently this is Killer. That's his name, Killer. It's just just Killer. Okay. And we're on Fighting Spirit, like the most standard four-player map. And it's 2017. Will we see the classic style of Forge Fast Expand into Stargate in a Corsair DT? Are we going to see maybe a gateway for some pressure? Not sure what these guys are talking about. I assume they were talking in Korean and it doesn't translate over the replay. But a pylon is on the way. First probe going out scouting in a... Well, about as quick as you can get there. It does look. He's banking up some minerals. He's going to be getting the pull on non-supply. Fortunately for Jangby... He's going to be scouting this right off the bat. He's going to have an idea of how much pressure could potentially be put on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's going to go for anything. And is he going to get the gas? Ooh, you spicy boy. Getting the gas geyser as well. And then... Oh, that was an extractor trick. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I take it back. Not nearly as spicy as I originally thought. This isn't Jangby. It's Jangby. This is from a series in, I believe, 2014. They usually have clan tags in front of their name, but... Alright. The probe doing a little bit of mineral micro. I know, it's actually... Can it attack? Is it attacking? It's hitting that drone! I can't even see what it's hitting! I can't even see the HP bar. Anyways, we do have some zerglings on the way. He's gonna go for six. The Overlord coming in, gonna get a scout of the Nexus positioning. Is this how this works? No, this one. Wait. Yeah, there you go. It worked. I did it. Uh, I'm, I'm slowly figuring out how to work the observing. The hatchery is the follow-up. Obviously, if you go for a Forge Fast Expand, you don't have as much ability to put on pressure, so this expansion shouldn't be putting him out of his way. I think he'll counter with a Cannon Rush. He has minerals, but is that really the direction he wants to go? He just slipped past one of these drones. Oh, the probe has uh, intentions. Oh, he slips right through the wall! He buttered up those Zerglings before coming to the base. Three will survive. He doesn't have speed on him, but... There are no units but probes, and I, this is so goddamn annoying. I think I can speak for every Protoss player out there. Having Zerglings in your base at this timing is, uh, it's, it's not a happy experience. Let's put it that way. All right. Jang B finally... Adding on his gateway as well as his nexus. A pile on at the back. How many probes? It looks like no probes have been picked off so far. There's still a probe in the main. He's going to see that gas has begun to be mined. But, oh god, this is annoying. I'm getting annoyed just watching it. Okay. He will never mind from that gas. He can go poke at the pylon. The probes are a much juicier target. Looks like he'll get one. That's two probes so far. I mean, you're, you're bound to take some losses. That's just how it works. Thanks, patient samurai. Oh. One goes down for the cost of an additional probe. Oh my god. Okay, now this is getting out of control. That's like four or five probes. That's five or six. I don't... Th this is a bit much. He he's not even... He's starting a zealot now, but his probe count is noticeably low. I mean, there's not too many drones behind it. Is he building more drones? 
He's got a lair on the way. No third hatchery. I take it back. There's a third hatchery in that northern location. There's no way that Jangbi can touch it right now. <clears throat> Finally, killer zerglings are killed. But now, neither player really has the ability to pressure one another. Now you can build your probes, get your drones, start your tech. That's what it really has to happen. Do we see a Stargate here? There it is, Stargate on the way. Probably will see the Citadel very soon. A single Zealot out on the map, but the Zerglings will find it. Try to pin it back up, not even entirely sure. Looks like a nice angle here from Killer. All right, a Spire on the way. He's able to get that Spire up. He went for the Lair very quickly. So even though there is a Stargate and he can build Corsairs, he can intercept those Corsairs. He could open with Scourge. Will he actually build Mutas to start to try to catch his opponent off? Because there's not going to be any anti-air, but maybe one or two Corsairs. And sometimes you only build the one and then immediately go into ground. Sometimes you mass him up. Uh, it really depends on what he's feeling like. There's the Citadel behind should see a gateway or two as well, following it up eventually. Another hatch. Yeah, we're going up to four hatches. Of course, this is not StarCraft 2. You don't have queens for additional injects. The only way to get more larva is to build more hatcheries. The zealots hold the line. And also parkour. And the first Corsair is on the way. Do we have plus one? No plus one yet. Out of Jangby. Another hatchery as well. What is this going to be? One, two. Uh, let me do some counting. All right, five. Going up to six hatches is Killa. He is just so committed. He knows there's nothing that can really be done. He killed a lot of probes early. He had a beat on the timing of the tech. What are you going to do? Make like four zealots and walk across? That's not going to do anything. The Spire is done. Do we have anything building? We have a couple sets of Scourge ready to intercept. The Corsair finds itself in the main base. We'll see if the Scourge are able to track it down. No, he's microing it away. He tries to escape. We have the flanking Scourge over to the left side. They're coming in from the side. He forces the Corsair away, but the flank comes in, nails the Corsair, and brings it out of the sky. Able to keep that Corsair count from ever climbing. It looks like he's going to be kind of forced into making more Corsairs. He's building cannons to protect his Stargate so he doesn't get every Corsair that pops out sniped. Now the Scourge are forced away. Sunken colonies. There's no Nidus yet, right? Yeah, he needs a hive. You need a queen's nest to build a hive, and then you need a hive for a Nidus canal so you can put all your shit in other places. All right. A Hydra is done just now being built and finally seeing a transition out of Killer. He's he's comfortable with what he's done. He's containing. He knows that there's going to be actual tech and a reasonable amount of units coming out here. There's only one gateway, though. He's, he's got one gateway. He's building a Dark Templar. He's got a robotics. Like every he's branched out the tech tree to pretty much every direction. We got a Templar archives off of that Citadel. He's upgrading air weapons, getting Corsairs, and has a Robo building a shuttle. Is he doing a DT Corsair drop? Actually, I think that's what he's doing. That just sounds so fucking technical, it intimidates me when I hear it out loud. I don't... It's a... It's a it looks like it's going to be a DT drop with Corsairs to clear out the Overlords for detection, and then just try to gut the main base. The Scourge are coming in, getting a little bit of scouting information. He might notice how few gateways are here. He might get an idea. Wait a second. You're up to something. <laughs> is there any detection? There's a couple overlords in the main. The shuttle is done. What's in it? Nothing. I feel like that's not... Okay, he's got two DTs over here. Ready to pick up. 
Oh, the Scourge are splitting. Minimizing the splash damage. He's closing the distance on the Corsairs. Doesn't quite get any pickoffs yet. The DTs are going to get into the shuttle. This needs to do some damage because he's cut a lot of his potential production. He can't build very much army off of one gateway. He's got two now. He doubled that production. But yeah, in order to do this, it cost him other production. So this needs to do a lot of damage. The drones immediately pulled. He knows what's up. Is he going to go for the Spire? It will be targeted. Not before it evolves. What I think is the Carapus upgrade. But the Overlords are in position. It's not that many Zerglings. He kind of just kills them all. Okay. And down goes the Spire. Not before a couple Mutalists pop out and we'll be able to clean up really morph a Darkon. The Overlord's not quite in position. Splitting the Dark Templar just to buy some space. This will free up the time to get a third base here for Jangby. So he got the Spire. A pretty key snipe. He killed some Zerglings. It didn't kill a bunch of drones. It didn't kill any bases, but uh, it definitely held him back for a while. Is he going to rebuild the Spire? Yes, he is. On the low ground. He still has plenty. There's a Spore Colony. Wow, what a uh, beautiful creature that is. Just everything about that is... Uh... All right, we got the Mutalist coming in. The air control still looks like it goes to Zerg here. Killer swinging around. Are there any Archons? How many Corsairs are in this mix? There are going to be... Does he have Storm? I, I believe. He has this many Templar. He, he should have Storm. Unless he wants to have a makeout session. All right, Archon it is. Scourge are trying to close the distance, but that is a lot of Corsairs. Can the Scourge actually get close enough? I have to see. They come in from the side. He targets them down, but a few will... A couple will connect. More from the side, but not enough to clear out the Corsairs. That still is a lot of Mutas, but they can't really stack up against this. Is that two groups of Mutas? It looks like it's just one group of Mutas for now. But there are these bases in the top right. Killer, does he have his hive tech? No hive yet. We have the Evo Chamber, some sunken spores. Not dealing with any more DT drops or anything like that. The shuttle. Archon drops like his Legacy of the Void. The Corsairs are moving forward. There's only a couple sunkens. Three sunkens. Does he have lurkers? Where are Killer's units? He just doesn't have units at all. He's building Scourge. Scourge, not the greatest counter to Archons, and the elevator comes into the main. There will be some Sunkins here, just two. But that that's not enough, right? Against a couple Archons and Zealots with plus one. Will he just go for it? I think he can. The Ar Well, the Archons are going to trip over everything to try to get an attack off, so that might help. Looks like the Zealots are... are well, they're going to be able to get on top. They'll figure it out eventually. Unfortunately... It's taken time. <laughs> the drones are off the line. He will rip through the Sunkins, but here come back the Mutus. The splash damage of the Archons is quite substantial. More Zealots are coming in as well. He needs the Lurkers to deal with this. One will burrow. There's no detection. So he can't... The Lurker will eventually clean this up. Down goes the Spore Colony. The Corsair's on the chase, but they're flying over another Spore Colony as well. The Lurker's doing it. There's actually two Lurkers here, but the drones are still all nine. They just don't put out the deeps. He's trying to draw them through the Lurker spines. It looks like finally he's cleaned up most of this attack. The Corsair's still on the chase. They're going to find the Mutalist. The splash damage is overwhelming. It's a tsunami of Protoss. Meanwhile, this Archon is still here. All right, so what is the the late game of Killer here? He has a few Lurkers, a few Zerglings. He has a lot of bases, but in a lot of hatcheries. <laughs> but what does he have? Does he build? It looks like he's going towards more Lurkers. That's going to be the direction. The Hive is on the way. He can eventually work towards the Fallers to Dark Swarm on top of those Lurkers. Of course, that's not going to help that much against the Zealots. Uh, but uh, just in general... 
Maybe go for Plague. I don't know. I haven't seen that yet. There's a lot of Zerglings, but they do have 0-0 zero, zero upgrades. The Evo Chambers are pumping in the main base, but they're still pretty far off. Overlord's going to go down. It is 137 supply for Jangby. And 128 for Killer. But Killer is very focused on this Air Force. He has a handful of Mutas and a bunch of Scourge to try to take these out. But the Dragoons have joined the field. And the Corsairs are looking to match it. He's on full three base production. He has a reasonable probe count. He is up against like... Five, like nine hatcheries. Eight? Nine or eight. Something like that. It's a significant number of hatcheries. It's a lot of hatcheries. Okay, but are there enough units here? There are no lurkers right off the start. If he takes down the Overlords, then he can be vulnerable to Dark Town, but not that there are many. A storm goes on top of the Mutas, hits some of the Zealots, but that's neither here nor there. The Lurkers on the high ground are gonna help to repel this. There's a couple Sunkins as well. Three Lurkers pop it out at a very clutch timing. The Zerglings swing in from the back. Hold them down. More Zerglings from the left flank. It looks like this army got caught exactly where it needed to not be, and suddenly Zerglings swarm over everything, and it will be ripped to the ground and killer. Living up to his name. High Templar are going to be joining them in the grave. And uh, I have no idea where all those Zerglings came from, but I would guess it's from these hatcheries. Unfortunately, four Zealots got here somehow. I assume there was a shuttle somewhere, and he was able to kill some of the drones, but the production is ridiculous. Right. Anitis Canal. Has been created. I'm not sure where the network is. I assume in the main? At the Nat, maybe? Which one is the Nidus? I, uh... Did he lose it? Oh, he lost it! I don't... Oh, yeah. The Hive is done. Does he have Adrenal Glands? I want to assume so. Based on how quickly those Zerglings are killing everything, uh, even with 0-0, zero, zero, I think it's very likely. I can't imagine how hard it is to get 50 Zerglings, 60 Zerglings, all doing something coherent in, in a reasonable amount of time. So. But Jangby's moving out. He's got several storms banked up here. Yeah, five or six even. So a couple bad angles from those Zerglings and they can all evaporate. For now, he's got a very wide spread. This has to be at least 10. It's a ridiculous amount of Zerg. But the Zealots have plus two. We do have some Templar on the side. The Zerglings are coming around the left. Beautiful storms on the right. He's going to have more storms on the left side, but he's caught between Zerg on either angle. The storms will rip through, but so will the Zerglings and the Hydras. It, it's hard to tell who really took a better trade there. I want to say Zerg did. But he lost a lot of Zerglings. A lot of Dragoons at the back supporting these Zealots. Where are the High Templar? He really does need the High Templar eventually. Once another wave of Zerg comes up, the upgrades. 2-2. Two -two. On the way. And that was a lot of Zerg going down. I mean... Zerglings don't take a lot of supply, but it, it takes a lot of larvae to rebuild them. It's now 127 supply to around 110 uh, in favor of Jangby. Now, he's starting to run out of minerals in his main. He's going to start running out of minerals at his second base pretty soon. He, we're still a minute or two out from that. But eventually, the fact that Killer has two bases in this top right corner and access to more, then that's going to be the, the defining factor. This massive swarm Zerg style doesn't have to trade effectively, it just has to trade at all. He's got several lurkers as well. A at some point, no amount of storm can prevent a 360 degree surround. <laughs> a fourth base by Jangby being taken. This is going to be the focal point of the game for the next few minutes. As Killer is going to try to take it away. And Jangby is going to do everything to try to keep it. A handful of lurkers, not... An overwhelming number. We don't. I don't think he has Overlord Dropper Speed yet for any sort of backstabs. But that's just so many Zerglings. 
Defilers are in the mix with nearly full energy. That'll severely reduce the damage of the Dragoons. Not that helpful against Zealots or Storm, but, I mean, anything helps. Good Storm's at the front. He's trying to take this angle while he still has the Storms to spare. The Zealots are holding the line. The Storm's in the front as well, ripping through the front line of the Zerg. A Plague comes out, hits a few of these Dragoons, but it just doesn't seem like Killer's gonna break through with this so far. A handful of Lurkers survive. He's going to eat up some of those Hydras. But if you don't have any units, it's hard to kill units with Plague. <laughs> and remember, it, it doesn't go through the shield. It only goes through the HP. But another round of Hydras. The macro is insane out of Killer. Are there any more Storms? He has the splash damage of the Archons, but that's not nearly as good as having some Psy Storm. He gets a few more up there. Will he drop it down? Uh, there we go. A nice size storm at the front. Where are the observers? Observer at the front. A dark swarm comes out, but the storm will rip everything under it to shreds. Another huge round. He keeps throwing so many units at him, but he's 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 not breaking through. Jangvi's at 157 supply. This this is time to stop. That almost was too much there. He's given up too much now. I think at this point you need another angle. The Hydras and the Lings, they aren't cutting it anymore. I mean, if he took a very good fight, he could still break it, but this just doesn't seem to be cut. Plus three is done. Some big storms come out on everything, ripping through the Hydras. Are there any more storms? They're working towards an Archon here. There's no more storms so far. One comes out the middle. The Lurker helping out a lot. A huge storm right in the middle of everything. It, it does seem... I stand corrected. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just Dragoons left over. A few more Storms, but the Hydras just run straight through. They don't even care. No fucks were given upon this day. And he's still just running Zerglings through. He doesn't stop. He can't stop. He won't stop. The Archon gonna be targeted down. The High Templar is vulnerable. It's just Dragoons now, and he's got his foot on the gas, and he's not hitting the brake. It just, he's not stopping. I don't understand. He ju just keeps doing this, and it keeps working. He's now at 130 against 130 supply. Jangby does have his fourth base up. He has mined out of his main. And thankfully here for Killer, he's not mined out of his main because Jangby was so nice to uh, hit it so many times with Zealots and DTs and all the harass that he wasn't mining from it for very much. Now, Killer finally getting another base in the middle center. That was uh, redundant. I, I, actually, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, the storms are washing away waves of Zerglings, but they, they just keep coming. It's now 2-2. Two, two. Does he have 3-3 three, three on the way? No 3-3. Three, three. Well, unless there's plus 3. And he's upgrading the plus 3 carapace from the top. Okay. An Ultraless Cavern. He's getting the, uh, whatever this one is, the ultra speed that looks like a gorilla in the upgrade thing. As they line up, everybody takes their corners. It's been, it's been a slugfest. It's been a brawl. But, uh, everybody needs a breather. Killer building up that late game force. We're talking ultras with defilers. Almost maxed out upgrades. Huge production and ability to replenish. On the other side, Jangby trying to put together enough storms. Does he have any other tech? Is he just going for more Dragoons? And Reavers. This is the kicker. He's going to go for Reavers. He needs even more splash damage, he says. He has a couple High Templar and a couple Zealots in a, in a shuttle. Ready to come in. A Zerg army continuing to maneuver. Just the logistics of maneuvering this much Zerg is insane to think about. It makes my head hurt. Another base being taken. There were some hydras up here. Lost, but also forgotten. This base has been taken as well. Everybody picking their side. Even some Scourge mixed in. They connect to a shuttle with High Templar or Reavers in it. That can make the difference. The Observer, the Zerg Swarm, is swinging around to the south. A Reaver stands tall. An Archon's coming in. The scarabs come out. 
Jangbi's army is swinging down to defend. He's trying to hit towards the main. He's going for the throat. There's not quite a storm on these high Templar yet. He retreats them. He's got it in a second. These storms could be huge. A massive storm rips into the Zerglings. The Scarabs as well. The Reaver getting so many kills. And here comes Jangbi in from the top. The Ultralis can't connect with everything they need to be connecting, but the plague across the entire army. They are sickened, but not dead yet. It is, it's not terminal, all right? It's not terminal. It brings you to one HP, but you got those shields to protect you. There's still a Lurker under a Dark Swarm, still hitting things here. He has the Observer. He's bringing it back. He can deal with it with the Zealots. But he will survive. The choke point, choked out killer there, it seemed. 174 supply will be the casualty against 160. What will be the supply replenishment out of Zerg here? He's still got an Ultra. He's going to have plus three pretty soon. And plus three Carapace. It looks like some drops are on the way. ultra -less drop! And some Zerglings, some Cracklings with 3-3. Three, 3-1 three. Three, on the deck here uh, for Protoss. This top left base is going to be pretty vulnerable. He has to commit a lot of units to defend against that many Zerglings and an Ultra. We still see drawing a line in the sand. Neither player, every time it seems a player crosses that line, they take critical losses. Of course, that, that has been almost entirely crossed by Killer, who has been mostly untouched since the initial harass. But speaking of harass, the shuttle, oh, beautiful storm! But he loses the shuttle and all the Templar in it, so not sure if that was really worth it. The Ultra was being targeted. It does have Chitinous Plating. The Nexus taking a lot of hits, but it wasn't really target fired by all the Zerglings. The Ultra will go down in these drops as well, but at the same time, Killer is swinging to the south. There are a couple Reavers and a couple Archons, but they're outside the wall. A High Templar does have Storm, but that's enough to scare. Yeah, he's got to retreat before the army swings down and brings the door slamming shut on his back. But where does this end? Bases are being mined out on either side. The second base and the main base for mo both players pretty much are mined out. The third base is going to be starting to dry up very soon. There are Ultras and Zerglings and another set of Overlords. Jangby has locked down his side of the map, but he can't seem to press forward. What is the late game? Do you just hold on and then he runs out of money? There's, there's, did he remake Mutas or have these Mutas been chilling for a while? They only have plus one Carapace, but if he can snipe some High Templar? I'm not, I'm not sure what the long-term plan is here. Uh, from Jangbi. The Observer's gonna see all this coming down. More Archons on the way. This Templar is primed up and ready to storm. But the drop comes in. He's baiting. He might even know this Observer's here. I'm not sure, but he's baiting him back so this drop can come in on a base that's just freshly up. Uh, the Zergling's gonna be enough to take down the- Where did that Templar come from? Oh, it's underneath the Overlords. Oh, never mind. It's right there. I'm very dumb. But still, those cannons cannot stand up to the Cracklings, but these units can. The Reavers are going to help out. But this means that Killer's going to swing back down again. He's looking for an angle. Neither player can really find one. It's 198 to 189 supply, and Killer has money in the bank. Trying to get on those Templar. One storm comes out. A very nice concave for Zerg here. The Ultralis, remember, they don't do cleave damage in StarCraft 1. The storms are washing over everything. But he's he's cut off the army. A plague will afflict a lot of Protoss units. But still, it will not kill them. What is... How does this end? It, it just keeps... Oh, Guardians! Guardians! And... Oh, well... No longer Guardians. Right? No more... Well, it takes like four years to kill them. So... Oh, but a plague on the Corsairs is going to help out. So... That is apparently the choice. The Guardians. And Killer is expanding forwards onto Jangbi's side of the map. Those long range siege guardians gonna start crushing through. This Corsair is gonna try to help. Are there the storms? Big storm coming out. Another big storm. Massive category five storms. But it's not enough. The siege now finally begins. <laughs> I forgot these units existed. Maybe Killer did too, I don't know. But the shuttles, 
Not, not, not really what you want to do with a Reaver Shuttle. But he can't, he has no super direct counter to these Guardians. He doesn't have that many goons he can close the distance with. He, he doesn't really have that many course. I, I don't know. What, what can you even build out of the Stargate? I don't, they're carriers. He doesn't have carriers. He definitely doesn't have carriers. So, um, but the storms are helping, and Guardians don't have that much HP. Yeah, as you can see there. The third base is starting to mine out. That can be said for both sides here. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my guardians. Okay, he, he was able to deal with the first four, but what about... Well, the storms help. But what about the next twelve? The guardians coming in from everywhere, getting swept out of the sky. The storms are insane! But insanity is not enough. As he's getting pushed back, this zerg swarm, this insane macro, the amount of units he's put on the field this game is ridiculous. I, I would, wouldn't be surprised if over a thousand units were created and then lost by killer. Another storm, but it's not enough. A counterattack coming out from Jangby, but that's uh, but a shadow of what's happening in the top left. That, there's no income now once these bases die. He, he's out of minerals. There's no minerals left. He has 2,100 minerals in the bank, but like... What do you build? Dragoons? I don't... <laughs> yes, yes, he's building Dragoons, so that answers my question. But then he dies to Zerg, so... A, a relatively sizable Protoss force moving towards this center area. These High Templar are not where they want to be. The storms will come out, but that'll also kill the High Templar themselves. I mean, this is not a... a this is not a small counterattack, but it's just not enough. His base is dead. Jangbi now officially has no income. The swarm finally closes its jaws. More insane storms coming out. And another one. Just, and he's gonna hold. Looks like he's gonna hold, because there's only really... Well, if he can get another dark swarm here, but... Um, Jangby's gonna hold. But at what cost? This is an awkward... Well... I'm one of you. I'm like a slug, see? I don't... Uh... And Killer, he's almost mined out. Like, he doesn't have that much income, but he has income. And he has the supply. This is a very scary Protoss army. Are there any storms? He has one on this Templar. He casts it. A massive storm again. But, and he picks up some Reaver Micro coming out. There's just too much, too many Hydras. Always too much, it's hurt. But, damn. How many, how many units died that game? I don't, Jesus. The, like, 10 hatch macro. Well, that's very intimidating when you look at playing Zerg like that. Let's see if I can tell. He produced 983 and lost 739 of them. So, uh, that's, um... Yup. And I think a solid 400 were killed by storm. 